my son Julian and today we're going to show you how to paint and decorate your dock band. So the first things first are the supplies that you need. Um, so you need some paint. I just bought some acrylic paint from Walmart. Uh, this is just a light blue or sailing sky blue. Uh, you need some Mod Podge, paint brushes, and if you just want to paint it one color then that's fine, that's all you need. If you do want to decorate it with some stickers, um, then you need your stickers. This is actually, hi, this is actually um, Julian's second band. So this is his first one. We painted it silver and we had like a, a superhero theme to it. And um, he wore this for about 11 weeks and I never touched up the paint or touched up the Mod Podge at all and I think it's in pretty good condition. We have a couple of peel offs right here and in the back um, but that's just pretty much where he lays his head so they just get a lot of wear and tear but um, I think it came out pretty good for my first time painting and so today we're gonna start his new one. Isn't that right baby? You're gonna get a new helmet. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. So I just finished painting my first layer of blue. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I'm probably just going to do one more coat. Um, the first time around when I did this helmet, this sil metallic -y silver, um, I had to do probably about four coats just because it was really sheer and I wanted it to look more silver rather than like a, a shimmery white. So I'm just gonna let this dry for a little bit and then I will go ahead and start painting the second coat. It looks like we're about ready to start our second coat of paint. Um, I still have a couple of wet spots, but for the most part it looks pretty dry. And while you are painting, make sure to be pretty gentle with your strokes. Uh, if you are a little heavy-handed, um, I find that it tends to streak and the colors tend to kind of rub off. Um, one tip that some other moms have said is to lightly sand the helmet before you start painting. Um, I, actually, I did it the first time around, but I didn't do it this time, so we'll see how uh, much of a difference it is. But um, if you do decide that you want to sand the helmet down, just make sure it's a very light sanding. You don't want to take the you know you don't want to take the whole surface off. You just want to roughen it up a little bit so that the paint will stick. Um, so from here on out, after you, after the paint dries, um, I would do, I would do about one or two coats of the Mod Podge, which is kind of like a seal, and it kind of protects, keep the paint on. Um, and if if you're not going to do any stickers, then, you know, just do the two coats of Mod Podge, let it dry, and you're done. So the next step after Mod Podging your helmet um, is putting on the decals. So you don't have to do the decals at all if you don't want to. Um, I purchased mine from BlingYourBand.com, and um, if you actually go on their website, they tend to do um, some coupon codes, so that can save you a little bit of money. Um, but you don't have to order special decals in order to decorate your fan. You can just go to the craft store and buy, you know, any kind of stickers. Alright, so now that my helmet is dry, it actually has a really cool matte finish right now. Um, but I still want to add the Mod Podge. And I have the glossy Mod Podge. I believe it comes in a matte finish. Um, so you can actually keep this cool matte finish. But, um, I only have the gloss one, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. So the Mod Podge actually, um, it kind of looks like glue, um, and so it'll look kind of funny when you're putting it on, 
but it'll dry clear, so don't worry. So I just finished drying my layer of Mod Podge, and as you can see, it dried out clear, and it kind of has this glossy look to it. So now I'm just going to apply my stickers and then put some more Mod Podge on. Um, if all you want to do is paint your helmet, then um, I would suggest doing two or three layers of Mod Podge and make sure to let them dry in between each layer. Um, if you are going to apply the decals, then do the decals and I would do probably about four coats of Mod Podge afterwards um, just to make sure that the stickers don't lift up and you know start collecting dust. So now that I've applied all the decals where I want them, I'm just going to do a couple layers of Mod Podge. I suggest probably about four layers. Um, just to make sure um, that the stickers stay on and they don't lift up. I just finished my first coat of Mod Podge over the decals. So I'm just going to let it dry and after um, a couple more coats, and letting it dry overnight, um, I'll give it to Julian and she'll start wearing it. Well, good morning, Julian. Hi. Are you ready to see your new helmet? What do you think? Do you love it? Yeah? You want to put it on? What do you think? Do you love it? 